in this video I'll show you how to scan multiple pages of a document and combine them in one single PDF. It's very easy. So depending how you want to do it, I'll show you how to do it with a smartphone, but you can do the same exact things with a PC or a Mac. But in this case, I'll show you with a smartphone, how easy it is. So let's get started. The first thing is to connect the printer to your smartphone. In this video, I'll show you how to set up via Wi-Fi your HP DeskJet 4155E with any smartphone, Android or iPhone. And I'll also show you how to print and scan wirelessly. So let's get started with the pairing. So the first step is to go on the Android Play Store or the App Store if you have an iPhone and download the HP Smart app. So just search for HP Smart and it should be this option over here. While you're waiting for the app to download, make sure that the printer is turned on and then you're gonna need to press this X button and this Wi-Fi button at the same time until the power button starts flashing. So I'll show you. Keep pressing both. Keep pressing. Okay, it starts flashing. You can now release them and the button will start um, blinking this way in just a few seconds. Let's wait. Here we go. So it stopped doing this. It means that the printer is now in pairing mode. So open the HP Smart app you just downloaded. This is the main menu screen of the app. I have already connected a printer, but in your case, if you don't have any printer, you're gonna have a button here saying add printer. If you don't see it, just press the small plus button on the top right corner once. And then in this app, you're gonna press get started, this first option. Then you're gonna select Wi-Fi continue continue select DeskJet 4100 series and here make sure that this network is your home network the one you use at home or at the office if you're there and enter the wi-fi password of this network then press continue here you're gonna have to wait Now it will ask you to press the I button that is located over here. Just press it once and release. The setup will continue automatically on your phone. Then once you see this screen, press continue. Then you'll get this screen. It's up to you if you want to accept all. I personally value my personal information and you're not obligated to share it with HP. So I'll press decline optional data. Here again, you're not obligated to accept all these um, services that HP is trying to sell you. You can simply click on do not activate HP plus and you can look uh, later about them if you wish to subscribe. Again, decline HP plus. Continue. Here they will try to sell you their instant ink service again. I suggest you don't accept it now and you take the time to read about the term and condition to see if it fits you. So just press do not enable ink delivery. Skip offer. Now it will tell you to load paper, but you can just skip these. Press continue. Here they will ask you if you want the printer to update itself, if there is new firmware available or uh, do it manually. I always suggest auto update so I don't have to care about this. Press apply. And now you can press the skip printing page. You're not obligated to do this as well. I don't think it serves any purpose. 
not right now. If there is a firmware available, it will be presented to you. Just press OK. It will auto install it. And here is the main page of the app again with all the options. Now, once it's connected, you're going to take your document with the multiple pages that you want to scan and combine. You're going to open this flap over here. We can even open the second one by pushing it. Then take the pages, align them, make sure you're putting them facing up. Glide them over here into the slot. Take your smartphone, go down until you see printer scan. Tap here on the top, select under source document feeder and go back. Now make sure these settings are fine with you, which means page size, you can leave it automatic. So it will decide by itself what the page size. Resolution, this is very important, tap on it. If you're scanning pictures, I highly recommend you choose 300 dpi since it will have more details. If you're just scanning um, some text, 200 is plenty. And then select if you want the scan to be in color or in black and white. I'll leave it in color. Then you can go back. And once you're ready, you're going to press this white button here. Now wait. And the printer will take one by one every pages of your document. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to touch anything. You just have to wait. Okay, the printer is done scanning gonna take your smartphone it will add all this um, scanned and here we are all the pages now if you want to save these in one single document press the save button here give it a name let's say uh, document of love and then select from file type basic pdf then click the save button it will ask you where you want it to save if it's on a computer select your folder on the smartphone the same thing here it wants to save it in downloads let's say i'm good with this i'll press save and it will be done now if i go and Take a look at the file. Here we go. This is the PDF and it's all in one document. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.